Market Street, Little Italy. Hangs with his pals, yeah, that's where he'll be. It's Vinny, a friend of mine. Stand up guy from the Lower East Side. Take it from me, he's one of a kind. It's Vinny, Velotar. Welcome to Tell It Like It Is. Uh, we are reg my regular host, Mariana. Um, she's on hiatus because she's doing a play. Then I had someone replacing her that was Valeria. <laughs> and she was Miss Universe 2011 Germany. And she's out sick now. She's got the flu. <laughs> so who do we have? We have Melissa. And... Um, so before we get into and Valissa is a is a good girl. She's smart and um, she's gonna. Um, she's gonna, I'm sure she's gonna do a hell of a show tonight. Can I'm I say happy to be show? here. Oh well, there you go. Okay, now you know, tell it like it is. You know, you know what I'm. I'm there's a couple of things out there that are bothering me. Now you got these. I was just watching the news the other day, and you got these two kids. They sucker punched a guy driving a forklift. One guy ran away, the guy jumped off the forklift and grabbed the other guy. Now, for what reason did he sucker punch him and run away? Did he want to be a show off in front of his friend? Did he want to see if he was able to knock the guy out? Um, is, is the kid playing with a half a deck? Is he smoking something that he's not supposed to be smoking? You know, but whatever that problem is, you know, I, I think that, you know, if these kids, they, they, they think that they're big shots, they should go to a place called Gleason's Gym in Brooklyn. And that's where these boxers, they train. Go over there, punch a bag. You know, be a man. Go out there. Don't be a coward. Hit somebody and run. You know? And you want to know something? <clears throat> I was in the West Village. I was in a restaurant. And I was sitting near a window facing the street. And I seen this guy, and I seen these two guys walking behind this one guy, and I knew that they were up to no good, because I'm a New Yorker, and I could always, I could smell dirt a mile away. And I seen this guy, and one guy sucker punched this guy. He sucker punched him while he was walking, but he picked on the wrong guy. And the guy was gay. How do I know? Believe me, I know. I could, I could tell, I could see the way he was dressed, the way he, but you want to know something? This guy grabbed him. He grabbed him. He chased him through the streets. And he grabbed him on the other side of 7th Avenue. And let me tell you something. He gave this guy a beating. And you want to know something? I wanted to go outside, and I looked around. I would have, I would have stomped on him a little bit. Mm -hmm. And you want to know something? I didn't call the cops or nothing like that. Because when he came back, I told him, I said, yeah, you know, I see what happened over there. He said, yeah. He says, well, I picked on the wrong guy. Number one, and he says, I was. I don't want to call a cop. You want to know something? I I done more to him than what he would have gotten if he went to court. Because if he went to court, you know what they do? Thirty days, maybe <laughs> ten days, observation in Bellevue. Then they got and they give him <clears throat> sixty days probation for what? For sucker punching somebody, giving the guy a black eye, knocking his teeth down. The guy really gave him a beating. And you want to know something? There should be more of these guys around. But he picked on the wrong guy. He thought he was picking on a real gay guy that wasn't <laughs> going to do nothing. Well, you never know. You never know. And you want to know something? I mean, you know, I'm, it could happen to me, too. But I'll tell you one thing. If somebody sucker punches me, I'm not going to go down that easy because I'm not, I'm not a lightweight. And I'm your bodyguard. And there you go. I'm your bodyguard. <laughs> and I better, I better not get him. Because <laughs> no. um, I'll, save, I'll save the court system a lot of money, number one. Um, and then, now you know what else I'm watching on TV? <clears throat> They're back in Times Square. These girls, topless, taking pictures with people. I think that's very inappropriate. Because if there's tourists, they come in with like a little girl, or say a little boy, and the little boy is looking at these girls running around topless and taking pictures. I don't think that's appropriate for that little kid to be around that or to see that. Or a little girl to see the, the guy with his underwear on playing the guitar. <laughs> Go do that someplace else. 
Not in Times Square. There's too many kids over there. You you want to run around in your underwear? Go to, go to the beach. You know, not in Times Square. Come to my house. Don't want to joke. I'll be there. I'll be there. <laughs> That's why I like this girl. Um, you know, so I, I think that, and the mayor doesn't do nothing. Nobody does nothing about that. Times Square was cleaned up a long time ago. Now they're, they're starting to, I don't know. To me, there's nothing wrong with watching a, a, a beautiful girl with a beautiful body, but not in Times Square. Not a guy in his underwear that a little girl, three or four years old, should look at a guy in his underwear playing a guitar. It's <laughs> not the area that it should be. And then you got these Mickey Mouse and Donald Ducks out there. If you don't give them a tip, they, they start fighting with you. They'll chase you. What is this all coming to? Yeah. You know? <laughs> I, first of all, I would never take any pictures with anybody over there, number one. They would have to take pictures with, with you. me. Exactly. They would have to take pictures with me. And I'll double charge you. What they charge you? Fight out? I charge them 10. You know? <laughs> anyway, tonight we have a, 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 not only a friend of mine, a wonderful guest. And uh, we both live in the same neighborhood. And um, boy, do I have a lot of questions to ask him tonight. Uh-oh. And, uh, yeah, you don't have to worry about uh -oh. it. And uh, his name is Monsignor Sacano. That's right. Did I pronounce that you, correct? Uh, you did. Please, here yes. he is. Give thank him a nice hand, please. There you, you go. Know. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, Monsignor. Great being here. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I couldn't wait to I get know, you I know it. I've been so waiting things. for this for years, you know, really. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> deal with me. you got to watch out sometimes. <laughs> but I'm going to go easy on you. Now, I know for a fact that well, you see, a lot of kids used to go to that school. Yes. Then, then you got these... St. Uh, Patrick's School. I'm St. sorry? St. Patrick's Old Cathedral yeah, School. Yeah, pa St. Patrick's Just Old case, Cathedral right? on the corner of Prince and Ma. Correct. Now, what these landlords are doing, my, my next life, if there's a thing of reincarnation, I want to come back as a landlord. But uh, there's a... Or, or a Monsignor. <laughs> you have well, already. You've been a bishop and everything. You I've played been a, a bishop, too. But that's you played a so part of a bishop in a movie, right? We won't get into that. No. You didn't know about that, did you? No, I didn't. It has did to not. be a bishop. <laughs> you ever go out with a virgin? No more jokes. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, um, so uh, there used to be a lot of kids that used to go to that school, and then the landlords are going around, uh, rent controlled apartments, people that are paying $125, $190 a month. They're giving them fifty thousand dollars, seventy-five thousand to move out. These people are moving to Queens, Florida, and all the kids are disappearing from the neighborhood. So, the building, the school, was sort of empty, and it became a basilica. Is that correct? Well, the school itself was we sold the school, most of it. We now, kept uh, part of the school building on Prince Street. Prince am I, am I correct that a woman bought that? Beg your pardon? Did a woman buy that school? <laughs> no, no. Uh, uh, a company bought it and is developing it into condominiums. Condominiums. We okay. don't like that word, but right. it's not good for the neighborhood. Yeah, all right, you're right. But we did keep the historic center of the building, and we dedicated the funds that we got for selling the building to the renovation of the church. 200-year-old church, St. Patrick's Old you Cathedral. You did some job on that church. I mean, that, yeah. Thank you. that old St. Patrick's was, is beautiful. It is. And that, the last time I, I well, not It's the older last than I, you are. <laughs> it's old. Wow, that's pretty darn old. Uh, there you go. <laughs> it's over 200 years I remember old. Once it's once over I, 200 years oh, old. Oh, that I see goats it's, in the yard or something. Yeah. Goats the, back there. People, well, go, or there may even the sheep you saw. We have sheep. Oh, were they sheep? Yeah, goats we do keep them? sheep. Oh, in the, gonna, in are the, they the, coming back? Yeah, there's a cemetery on both sides of the of the church. Uh, so the location for your listening audience is, is Mulberry Street, Prince, and Mott. Right. That's the coordinates. And it has two cemeteries. We have the largest trees south of 59th Street and lots of grass. And every year we bring in sheep, you know, to take care now, of the do grass. Do you bring in sheep so that, you know, you can save money, you don't have to That's have right. somebody to uh, cut That's the right. grass? That's right. They, they're very low-maintenance beings, little animals. <laughs> they eat, they sleep, and they poop. That's what they wow. do. Right. Unbelievable. And they take care of the grass. You're not afraid of somebody coming yeah. over there and not uh, at all. taking one of those sheep? And, no, uh, not at all. We were in the lamb? very beginning. What is that, lamb? 
Well, b b babies are lambs. Yeah. Okay. And then there's a. Uh, Better watch out for Momo the butcher. He <laughs> might claim. He might claim defense. No, we've had no problem. We've had no <laughs> problem so far. Yeah. Oh wow. So we also keep bees, and maybe that's what's keeping the. Uh, yeah. We have seven some, hives. Would you happen to know what those <laughs> prices I'm are scared. in those? In those uh, condominiums or whatever you, you want to call. You don't even want to know. It is obscene. I don't want to know. Right. It's obscene. It's another form form of obscenity. I think. What's happening? You know, in New York uh, and in our neighborhood, right? That, that's a neighborhood that used to be families, mom and pop shops. So this is what you that gave it character. It gave it character. Yeah, but you're involved in that, aren't you? What's that? Say what? what? <laughs> Say what? <laughs> you're talking about it's a shame this, it's a shame that. But you're involved in it, though. In what do you mean? Because we sold the building? Well, you sold the well, building. Well, what you have to do when you're a church, you have to look at your neighborhood and you have to evangelize, you have to preach the gospel to whoever's there, who's ever there, you know. Well, you know, my and, building on Elizabeth Street went co-op. Yeah. You know my building, correct? Yes, I do. Okay. <clears throat> I tried to get two apartments side by side, but they're, they're going for like a lot of money. So the guy says, Vinny, why would I, and I got it for inside price. Yeah. <clears throat> so I got this apartment. The guy said, why should I sell you another one when I could get this amount of money? Why should I give it to you for this? So I, I understand where he's coming yeah. from, but I would have made it like one big apartment, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Melissa, where do you live? I am from Long Island originally, okay. and right now I live on First and 29th. All right. In the Kipps Bay area. Yeah, I know the Kipps Bay area well. It's beautiful. Y yeah, that was my first assignment as a newly ordained priest. Wow, unbelievable. Many years ago. I'm older than you are. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> yeah. you can't, really? You're not older than me. I think so. Do you want to tell me your age or no? 71. No way. 71. Yeah, you're right. You're a lot older than there me. There you go. You're older than me. <laughs> How about that? 71. Now, the, the, now so, the name Sukano, is that right, Italian? All right, a little guessing game here. Well, my mom's Italian. You know, all right. My mom's Italian, mm -hmm. um, and my, my father, uh, his mother is German, and he married a Japanese. So Japanese. My, my last name, Sukano, is Japanese. The Japanese, is it really? Wow. Yes, and it's spelled... S A K A N O. So there's a K in my name. Your listening audience will know the Italians will I'm know that there's see, no. I don't see no Japanese. It's in there. It's a quarter. It's just a I'm little a quarter. Like I didn't tell you, you what quarter. Like when I you am. smile, you see a little there Japanese in there. Yeah, <laughs> but there's no K in the Italian alphabet. So, you know. I see. So people say, "What? What are you? I don't know what you. What, what are you?" Okay. Yeah. Sukano. Okay. Sukano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, American, right? It only can happen in America, where you have a. Japanese, Italian, German priest. <laughs> you know, you're, yeah, so, you're so I'm beautiful and don't matter. Thank you. Another question. Do, do priests sometimes, I don't uh -oh. want to get into. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm, you're gonna I'm going to be very <laughs> cautious with my questions. Uh -oh. Okay. Do they have to go to confession too? Oh, of course, tomorrow? a lot. A lot? Yeah. I won't get into that one now. Well, because uh, we all sin. In fact, we're very, all the more aware of of sin and uh, of, uh, you know, not, not being as good as we could be. And confession is really an opportunity to, uh, to get help, to be empowered by God. It's not just being forgiven, it's also getting grace in order to be a better Christian, you know, today than we were yesterday and better tomorrow than we are today. That's what confession's for. It's going to fortify you. Mm. Yeah. If I, were, if, I, if I was a priest, I would have to think, go to confession quite often then. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. A I, you don't here. know. He's just trying to be I good. I try to be you're good. Just, you're just trying to be good here because you've got a I'm priest in your studio. I, I know, I know, I know. Um, <laughs> He's not doing very well. <laughs> <laughs> How could I? Uh, this is why I have to go to confession. That's right. Because That's of people like you. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I, um, but sometimes I can behave myself, you know. I, um, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm Catholic. I'm not very religious, but I do pray every night. There you go. So, that yeah, I do yeah, pray every you're night. You're very spiritual. And, uh, hmm, I'd say I need a lot of help. We all do. Boy, That's boy right. Do I ever. And we I know do. you're praying for me. Exactly. You know, we won't get into that either. <laughs> and um, A lot of subjects are verboten here. You're right. You don't want to get too and, deep. Um, yeah, so I, um, 
Yeah, I do. I do pray. I do pray. Yeah. Yeah, and God is my best friend. And, and you have father. to listen too. It's not just asking God for things, right? Well, God, we you know, believe it listen. or not, God does talk to me sometimes. Yeah, you, see, you know, I mean, and nobody's going to believe me, but I know God. Sometimes I hear him whisper to me, he "Goes, I love you, my son. Yes, stay where you are. We're not ready for you." That's right. Keep you here. Keep you busy. Yeah, keep yeah. you doing just things. Stay busy. Don't bother nobody. That's right. You know? That's right. And then I don't hear his voice anymore. You know. Um, <laughs> well, he's, sometimes I used he's to doing be a good job. I, I sometimes say. I used to be afraid to walk in church. I figured the, the statues were going to walk out. Oh, that's why we renovated our church. We put I extra, know. yeah, we you put extra beams job. on the yeah. ceiling so but it wouldn't you, fall in. You're still in not, you're when still you not came in. done with that, that church. No, we're not inside. done. We're not done. Still got quite a bit, right? Yes, we do. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Stained glass windows, all sorts of things we have to do. Now, I, I know the, the outside. It's like church. When you know you the church, in. Melissa? You've been there? No, I've never no, been you there have to come before, visit. but now I have to. It's, it's, the, it's the old cathedral. It's the first St. Patrick's Cathedral. Mm -hmm. And it's they built it when church. the city of New York, the city of New York was only, in 1800, only 75,000 people in the city of New York in the year 1800. In the year 1900, which is only 100 years. Is that that picture that they have? So like a sort of, yes. sort of like a celebration. Yes. You can see the school. Yep, yep. But in 1900, only 100 years, it was five million people. So the city grew enormously in that period of time, in the in the 1800s. And my church was the cathedral church in that critical time of growth. Yeah. You know, uh, the last time I went to confession was, I think it was St. Patrick's Day. No, when. When, all the, when you were in there with the, with the priest, you were <laughs> what walking year, down Mulberry's. What year was that? <laughs> How many decades ago was that? No, I'm kidding. No. I'm, I'm <laughs> that when, when, when the, what was that? Another Monsignor? You were walking down Mulberry Street. Was that St. Patrick's or something? St. Patrick's Day, maybe? And, and uh, the priest gave me a confession outside of uh, Most Precious Blood. Right. This was recently, wasn't it? This was yeah. recently. Yeah. And... Um, and then he, he put his hand on my head and he held my stomach and he said, hopefully you should not have any more pain or something like that. Okay, because and you've had, you've had some issues yeah. with the... Yeah, right. I had, some, I had a couple issues. Innards. And then when he, when he finished, I said, I said, Father, I'm sorry, could you do the other side? Because it's over here, not over here. <laughs> well, maybe he prevented it from going to the other side. Oh, hopefully, <laughs> you know. And... <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you're talking too much. You better slow down a little bit. <laughs> I don't want to interrupt, but I actually do want to say something. I think that confession is really nice because some people don't have time for therapy or they can't afford it. Mm -hmm. And it's their way of confessing and getting advice without feeling like, you know, if they tell a friend, that friend can go and tell someone else if they get yeah. into a fight or something. Yeah. But it's very private and yeah. it really means you're something right, to Melissa. them. And, and uh, I like the old fashioned way. Uh, where, you know, the conventional box, if you will, and maybe it's a little scary to some people. But on the other hand, it, it preserves anonymity, you know, so you can go, you know, and be completely anonymous and, you know, there's no, what they, they call transference. That, right? Oh, yeah, I, I use the old confessional. Yeah. Most priests do. Now, you if know. I went in there and you were there, you would know it's me because of I my have, voice. I have, <laughs> I have a feeling, yeah. <laughs> I would have to disguise my voice, or you'll come chasing me. Have to, down how would you street. disguise your voice? <laughs> give us a. Give, I don't know how you can do that. No. You want to give I'd us say an example? Father. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm sorry Can't I asked you, you. Please. All right. I'm sorry I asked you. <laughs> I, I will get into that. But um, but you're right, Melissa. It is. Uh, you wouldn't have to go to confession because you don't commit no sin, do you? Let's well, let's leave that alone. Yeah. Let's, let's leave it. Alone. Keep on bringing up these let's subjects leave that, that, alone. Are, that are. All right. We'll leave that alone. Open oh, doors well. to. But I tell you, we happen to live in a great neighborhood. I love it. You know, and I've been there for so many years. Yes. And uh, when that school was packed with kids. Yeah. And who got yeah, Sister, I even forgot Sister Patrick. Sister Patrick. She's a legend. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sister Patrick. Yeah. And, yeah. Oh, God. It We're was going just, back about 20 years, you know. And, was uh, it 20 or yeah, a little more, maybe? Well, yeah, 20 years, 20 years. Uh -huh. Yeah, a lot has changed in that neighborhood. Very, very, very swiftly. There's no more kids in that neighborhood. No, what dogs. Did they do? Kill them dogs. dogs. Now we have dogs. They dog brought them all out. All these I kids like are going to I love dogs, too. I love dogs. Do you have a dog? I do. Ah. I have two. What kind of dog? 
Go a Shih Tzu and a long-haired Chihuahua. Great. Yeah. Very bright dogs. Yeah. Yeah. And they're good. They're pretty quiet. Yeah. Cute. Yeah. You have a dog, Vinny? Yeah, I got a big one at home. <laughs> no. No, you see. He's so, the big dog. You're, you're, you're bad. <laughs> right. I have an imaginary dog. Do you? Yeah, I have an imaginary dog. So I, I can't allow myself to eat. I love dogs. I would love to have one. But I know that I'd be out of control. I'd, get, I'd be overprotective and... And then, and then I'd train it to be an altar server, and I'd bring it out into the altar, and I'd be over the top with the dog. I right? love cats. You love cats. Yeah, because cats are really funny animals. They are. They are kind you of know? funny. They I do love funny cats. things. Yeah, yeah, I do. I, I love cats. The, I don't want the ones that Siamese, because the ones that don't shed. You know. The hairless and cats. The, the sphinx. What? Not the hit. What? The sphinx. <laughs> <laughs> that's, an, that's a kind of cat. I don't want, cat. I want something bald. I want a sphinx. I love the bald cats. Well, I just I want something with hair, but nothing that I have to walk around with a brush and start picking up all the hairs. And you know another thing that you did? Um, uh, where, where you live? What do they call that again? The um, rectory. The rectory. Rectory. Why couldn't I think of that? You did a beautiful job in that rectory. Yeah. Even the staircase. You made it to where. It's the oldest rectory in the Archdiocese of New York. Okay. It was way back to the 1830s, and the first cardinal in New York lived there. You know, the first archbishop lived there. The two different guys. It's a lot of history. A lot of history. A lot, a lot of history. Yeah, yeah. So it's really kind of uh, inspiring, you know, to to work and to minister. In such an historic area, you know, and then we point, have people new history, like Vinny Bell. New point, old history. New old history. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. You know, at one point, I don't know if you remember that I bought that lottery ticket. Oh yeah, we just talked about that of, today. That's yeah, when I bought I, we a, just a scratch of lottery he ticket. He thought he won the lottery. He was going to run the whole neighborhood. Dollars. Right. Giving it away. You gave me a million. Yeah, I know. I was giving it all away. <laughs> well, and now I, you know me. <laughs> he didn't win, for you though. Too. <laughs> so tell um, everybody what happened. And, uh, well, it wind up being sad when I went to go cash it in. <laughs> I was a millionaire all weekend. I was getting phone calls because it was online. It was all over. I was getting phone calls. Hey, this is Tony. From where? Don't you remember? I'm your second <laughs> cousin. I live right. in Florida. Did you I, buy any cars or any? Did you, did oh, you commit yourself to anything? No. Well, let me put it this way. Twenty thousand dollars was spent. Nineteen thousand. Oh, oh no! Because um, I was a millionaire a weekend. But didn't you have a partner, somebody that? Yeah, it yeah. was. You know what a partner was? The guy was an. Uh, I don't know if he was an Arab or whatever yeah, he was. Yeah. In the uh, grocery store <laughs> on McDougal. Uh, on McDougal. Mulberry on Street. Mulberry Street. He had the little grocery store. So every time I would give him twenty dollars for the ticket, he would give me two tickets. So if I won, I split it with him back and forth. So first ticket I scratched off. Forty dollars. I said, "Hey, we got our money back." Second ticket, I scratched. It was five million dollars. I got shortness of breath. Oh. I, went, uh, uh, <clears throat> I almost, I almost died. And he said, "Did we win? Did we win?" In other words, did we win? <laughs> so I said, "Oh, your book. We won five million dollars." Then he started, ah, mahalo, 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 mahalo. He was dancing. I said, "Stop that! I know people on I mean, it. Stop with that hala mahalo stuff. Come on." Well, what was the problem with the with the ticket? The, it was a misprinted ticket. It was a misprinted, misprinted ticket. So I said, I bought the ticket in good faith. Yeah. I should be compensated. He said, well, that's all you're getting. Gave me the $20 for the ticket. Gave you $20? $20. Yeah, for the cost of the ticket. That's it? For the cost of Rather the ticket. Rather than $5 million? Yeah. <laughs> was so I said, $20. <laughs> he said, you got a problem with that? Like I said, I'm going to keep the conversation coach. I told him what he could do with the $20. How much did you owe the lawyers? I didn't let them owe them nothing because they would have gotten a third if they would have collected. Okay. Oh. So the wind-up was, I told him he could do it to 20, and I got arrested. So I go in the back, and the cops, they put me in the back because I told him what he could do with the ticket. And the cops back there, hey, can I take a picture Did you use you? a bad word? Well, you want me to say what I said? <laughs> no, I don't. You're on television. Okay, I told him what he could do with the ticket. Even if you're not on television. Take a guess. So. <laughs> I'm surprised. The cops say, hey, could, I'm could shocked, you hold actually. the bars while I... <laughs> Take a picture of you, and then I pass this cell with all these guys, there, and they say, "Hey, man, they can't hold you in here, man. You a star." I said, oh, "Please, I got to be in a cage with these guys." The cops said, "Don't worry, I put you in the back by yourself." 
That was back there. They never fingerprinted me. But then the cop came back about two hours later. He said, if you don't apologize to the judge, they're going to give you 10 days in jail. I said, you tell that judge. <gasps> no. He could. No. <laughs> he could do, do his this. boyfriend or, girl, oh. or his wife in oh. Macy's window. Because it's oh. not going to happen. I'll never apologize. And you let him know. I'll go to every. He knows who I am. I'll go to every radio station, every television station, every newspaper, and I'll bed my him and, and, and the court system. They better get me out of here. I was there for about seven hours. I guess you were Finally, mad. Huh? I guess you were mad, huh? Mad. <laughs> I would be so, so angry. Well, they would let me out. They said, Vinny, when you walk past the were judge, a mad. please yeah, don't even look at him. Right. Don't even look at him because I was going to. So that's another Well, you story. got a good story out of it, though. Say what? You got a good story out of it. This is a oh, great did story. I, ever? I was on. I was in every newspaper. You, yeah, that's right. I remember. I that. was on the Neil Cavuto show. I was on uh, all these television shows, and uh, getting the finger. That means when I get the finger, it means how many more minutes we got left. Okay. You know, not that kind of a finger. <laughs> you know, and uh, so I, um, so I wind up getting nothing now. <coughs> With the twenty thousand, that was almost nineteen thousand, like eight hundred something dollars. I'm still paying that off. That was about three and a half years ago. Now, I'm only paying every every month. I put I said three hundred, three hundred fifty. I'm only paying the interest. Now it's down to about sixteen one. So I almost paid almost four thousand dollars. I'm still paying it off. I can't I can't just give them one lump sum. I go broke. You know? It's terrible. So, you know, sometimes they, I feel if I claim bankruptcy, I can't. Because then I can't use my credit card, can't do anything. So I got to pay them off. Wow. So it says the minimum of what you pay, I send them the minimum, the minimum, the minimum plus another $100. You know? It's ridiculous. I know. Yeah, ridiculous. Oh, man. There's, I'm not what gonna a life. Win. I'm not going to win. <laughs> and, do, and then, you know what I do? I bet, then they had. They had the chutzpah. Now, chutzpah is not a bad word, is it? No, it's no. not a bad word. Okay. No. So you know what I mean by chutzpah? Yes. They had the chutzpah. That means the show is over. I think we're, I think so we're done. Come back next week. Thank the Martini is going to be back again. Yeah, that's where it'll be. It's Vinny, a friend of mine. Stand up guy from the Lower East Side. Take it from me, he's one of a kind. Valentine!